Ooh, ooh, this look like expensive, okay? Real sexy, that's how this smells right now. Don't pick out this one in the Cartier, cause apparently it smells like men's hair grease. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of some new fragrances. I've been trying to update my perfume collection lately, so I'm gonna show you what I'm getting rid of. The new perfumes that I recently purchased, and I haven't even opened them, my collection now, which is kind of small now since I've gotten rid of a lot of things, but it's okay because I'm just gonna keep adding to it, and if you guys know any perfumes that you don't see in this video that you've heard good things about or you've tried yourself, make sure you leave that in the comments. So let's get right into this video. I've been waiting to open these all together so I can actually finally use them. I hope they still smell the same because it's been about a little over a week yeah so we'll see how it goes first I'm gonna start with my scents that I'm actually getting rid of which is just random scents that don't even really smell like the actual smell anymore because well actually this still kind of smells good but it's almost gone this is just a random scent that I got at Fendi one day while shopping and the same with this Givenchy but it just doesn't fit like what I'm trying to smell like so both of these are they're leaving yeah this doesn't even smell good flower bomb by victor roth i mean i mean by victor and roth so this perfume it doesn't smell bad but i never really loved it even though it's almost gone but i literally bought it like a very very long time ago and i only use it to go to the gym or like I'm running an errand that is like so quick and I just want to smell like something. It's like one of those scents that I don't really care about. So I, I think I'll probably just finish this one because I do wear it like if I'm going to the gym or something. This is kind of a popular scent though and it kind of reminds me of someone already. So if it, I have a scent that kind of like when I smell it, I think of somebody else. I don't wear it as often because I don't want to really smell like you know that person if we're hanging out or something like that so this is like one of those perfumes that is kind of out of the new collection but i'm just gonna go ahead and finish it because i do wear it like to the gym this perfume okay this actually used to be my favorite perfume it's not very expensive um la panther I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it is Cartier and it's this one because they have a few bottles. One is pink, I know. I'm not sure of the other ones, but I have this bottle. And for a while, see this, how much is used? This was all in like one summer. When I bought this, this was my go-to spray and I was just loving it. When I smell it now, it just it doesn't do the same thing it used to do when I first bought it but I religiously was wearing this perfume everywhere day night you know it was my go-to until so one night I'm meeting up with this guy and when I get into his car he says that I smell like Dax and if you guys don't know what Dax is Dax is like <laughs> Dax is a men's like hair grease like basically for waves and I don't really know anyone that wears Dax right now so it kind of just reminded me of my dad like being younger I would see that little grease thing that says Dax on it so yeah after that I did not want to wear this anymore because at first I thought he was like joking around because I'm like no this is my Cartier okay like I smell good but it kind of smells like that or I don't know if that thought is in my head and then I'm just thinking about what he said so I just kind of you know I don't know but ever since then and that was a couple years ago I don't even know why I'm kind of just like hanging on to it I haven't worn it since that day and it was two probably like two summers ago but that just it just hurt my feelings because I've been wearing this religiously so yeah this one is leaving I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't wear it at all so you guys don't pick out this one in the Cartier because apparently it smells like men's hair grease now I'm gonna show some of my favorites that are already in my collection that I'm keeping that are maybe older and they're just like my go-to's this is black opium by YSL and it's not that expensive 
I don't know. I don't remember how much it was. It's, as you can see, it's like way down here. But this is probably like, I don't know how many bottles I bought of this. I've been getting this since it first came out. And this is a perfume that every time I wear it, I get a compliment on. Like, it smells so good. Um, I don't even know how to explain the smell. Like, it's just like grown up. It's really like grown up, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, like it's warm. It isn't floral at all. It's just like a warm, like it's just a nice, really nice scent. I like this one and I, this was actually my go-to for a while too. Cause you know how you, your go-tos kind of switch up. But um, yeah, so this is an inexpensive one that I really like. Gucci Bloom, this is one of my very favorites and this is floral. And oh, floral in such a good way. Oh, I love this, you guys. This is not the good video for me because I'm like, anybody who knows me knows like I'm very, my nose is very sensitive to smells. So like, I love smelling good things and like, if it doesn't smell good, I'm just basically in a bad mood. But this Gucci Bloom, not that expensive. Um, I'm thinking like, I don't, I don't even want to say not that expensive because anything over a hundred dollars, I mean, it's kind of expensive to be spending on a perfume, but it, I think it's like maybe like 200. I, it can't be more than that, but this is really good. And I also have the, um, red one and I love, I love these. I don't know why I haven't worn it in a while, but they are so good. And then um, this YSL is also another favorite, also not expensive. And this is from, um, I grabbed this at Sephora. And this is so good. Like this is like, this is good. This, <laughs> this is like, I don't even know how to explain it, but this is so good. It's not floral. It's kind of like a, oh, like a, musk yeah kind of like like a musk kind of and i'm really into like musk i'm into florals but not too florally to where it smells like potpourri and um yeah that's just a good those are some good ones that i really really love my actual go-to's right now though has been creed and also the Atrape the, by Louis Vuitton, and these have my initials on it. Make sure you get your initials on it if you go get it from Louis Vuitton. These bottles, I think, are $2.50, and to get your initials on it is free, so go ahead and do it since you're gonna splurge. I love this. Um, these two have been my go-tos, and I actually mixed both of these with Baccarat, and I, this is the oil. I don't have the perfume, and this I don't really love it as much as everybody goes crazy over it like this is the oil and i put it on like my chest and everything because i really like to wear oils and then i mix it with either creed or the atrape and both of these are this is actually a men's i've showed this in another video It smells good, okay? I don't know, if my man wear this, listen, this smells amazing. And this, I believe this was like 450, so it probably came out to five, so this is a very pricey one, but it smells really, really good, and investing in good smells are least likely to be, you know, worn by everybody. Do you know what I mean? And they're those smells that people kind of know at the same time. But um, yeah, so what I was saying about um, Baccarat, it's not really my favorite um, one, but I feel like when I mix it, it smells a little better. But it's also one of those perfumes that reminds me of people. So I don't wear it as often. And when I do wear it, I just like to mix it because it kind of like brings out like a different scent. And the oil kind of lasts longer on the skin. So I just feels like it makes everything like just pop out more so I have um, different one um, some other different perfumes but they're not like my go-to they're just kind of those 
ones that I throw on in the day so I'm not gonna get into every single scent but this video I'm basically trying to upgrade my scent like I like to smell good you know when I go out I like people to be like mmm you know I know how important it is to me when someone smells good like like if someone's not like that attractive but they smell really good like it keeps my attention do you know what I mean like if you you know you look okay but you smell good like i'm probably going to entertain you because smells are just it's just so important i didn't even mention the chanel i will mention that one because this is also this of course you can't go wrong really with any chanel so i don't have to say too much about that but this is the gabrielle i used to have um all of the chances but i also got rid of those because they were just old like i bought them so long ago and just sitting there all my perfumes used to be in my bathroom where there's a lot of sunlight coming in so i recently like got like shelving for my perfumes so i can um start to stock up and just really collect and get some good fragrances so i'm gonna say it again if you guys don't see anything mentioned in this video um let me know some good scents i really want some good expensive it doesn't have to be expensive but you know what i mean like it gives that rich smell okay, so i'm gonna go ahead and open my new pickups i'm gonna do it from the low end to the higher end first i'm gonna open replica i've talked about this in a different video and this is in the scent coffee break and this is by my son margella usually how um i'll purchase scents i'll purchase the small one first just to see if i like it and then you know i'll go back and get the bigger one which is what i did with this one i'm almost out of the travel size so i'm finally getting the big one i don't even know what this bottle looks like and this was only a hundred i have my receipts for you guys So I'm just gonna say the price is with tax because you gotta pay tax anyway and that's how it is on the receipt. So this came out to $117 and that is a really good price for a, you know, a good perfume because this is, it's not expensive but I feel like it's still like a higher end scent. It's kind of sweet, it's called Coffee Break but it has nothing to do with coffee. And this um, replica, I know everyone really likes Jazz Club, but I just couldn't get into it. But this coffee break smells really, really good to me. Ooh, it's a cute bottle. I like the labeling on it. Super cute. So, I don't wanna spray it, but I'm tempted to. But this smells amazing. It's like sweet, warm, nothing to do with floral this smells really good it's a great daytime perfume but i would wear it at night too it's so good i'm so happy i got this and it's gonna look so nice next to my other scents yay i love getting new things you guys next i'm gonna get into the tom ford soleil blanc and this is the shimmering body oil which is kind of like the back wrap i mean it doesn't smell like that but you know it's a body oil but it smells and i wanted to get this one because it was gold and i just feel like gold would look good on my skin and we'll try it on right now actually if you can see oh it looks like rose gold i'm gonna have to get This was only a hundred dollars so that's a really good price and it's a shimmer so i'm gonna try it on right now i haven't tried it Ooh. i don't really see anything but it smells good it really smells like an oil i don't really notice any of the shimmer yet but i mean i'm in the light so i can't really see i'll notice like when i'm outside or when i get up into a mirror but it smells really good. The Soleil Blanc, this is the actual perfume. And I was so excited because I love these Tom Ford bottles. I honestly really love Tom Ford like makeup and everything because we have the same initials, TF. And then this is the white bottle. And I was so, ooh. I was so excited that I finally found a scent that I really liked because I said like, I just love Tom Ford. So this smells so good. And 
I really don't want to waste it, but I can't help it. <laughs> So there's so many different bottles of um, the Tom Fords and I really do not like any. I also had in my collection already. And this one, I honestly only got, this one is fucking fabulous, but I only got it because of what it says and I just thought it was cute, but the smell is not, oh, no. Cute. This was like the first one and this was, really expensive because this one was only 250 I don't know if that's the regular price but I remember paying maybe 350 for this one when it came out that was a long time ago but I never wore the perfume because I just do not like the smell but I really like the bottle I like how it looks on my um, you know my perfume stand so I'm going to keep this but I'm not going to wear it at all for sure but this one i'm actually going to wear and it's still a cute bottle and i just think like the black and white will look good um yeah so i'm really glad i got this one this is more of a daytime smell for me for sure so now we're gonna go up in price a little bit and this one so this one is by house of silage and i went with the cherry garden scent I went for a completely different scent that I've been hearing great things about, but when I got there and I put the scent on me, I did not like it at all on me. So I'm glad I went in person, which is what I usually do because I can't buy perfume online unless I know exactly what it smells like. And also on that little piece of paper that they give you, I really can't smell on that paper either. Like it has to be on my skin. So that's what I wanted to do. And the, my favorite one was Cherry Blossom, which is kind of floral. Not too much. Oh, this is hard to open. It's just about packaging too. Like, it's just like, makes you feel like something amazing is in here. And the bottles are so beautiful. It looks like a little cupcake. And this is how it is. Look at this. And it says House of Solage on here. And it has like, you know, like the little crystal things here. I gotta be careful. Okay, so this one, I got this from, um, I got this from Saks. So they really tried to play me, how do I open this? <laughs> they really, oh, okay, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. So they tried to play me with this because they have bottles that are about, this was $390, so basically $400. But they have bottles that are $1,200. And they were trying to tell me like um, that they were out of these that are $400 and were trying to sell me on like, oh, this is a unlimited bottle. And basically it just had like a, um, a animal print with the diamond things. I actually like this one better than the one that was $1,200. And I was looking at that lady like, no, I'm not about to pay $1,200 for um, a little crystal different thing. It was the same size, same everything. I'm glad I really stuck to just getting this one and I waited for it because they had to send it to me. But um, yeah, because I was not paying no $1,200. Like, no. This smells so good. Let's do it on this wrist because... Oh my gosh. smell good anymore mm, this smells good this smells like it's called cherry blossom so obviously it is floral I don't get the cherry but you know isn't there a cherry blossom by um, Bath and Body Works I could have swear I might have worn that in high school I think it's cherry blossom let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is so pretty. This might be more for the packaging because sometimes I do buy perfumes for the packaging. And both of these were $500. So they better have me smelling like a star, okay? The first one I'm gonna go over is the Bond number no. nine, Tribeca. I smelled two 
I think there were two other ones that I liked, but I got them in the smaller, um, like the travel size, just to test them out before I actually buy them. That's what I did with this one. So I knew I wanted this. All these fragrances, I kind of had my eye on for a while, and then I just decided to go ahead and buy them all at once. I am looking for more fragrances to buy because I know there's so many. I like this bottle. I will say that I do like this bottle the best too. Um, they're all kind of crazy. And this is just like white. It kind of goes with everything that I have. Mmm, this smells so good. I love this smell. This is one of those smells too that for some reason adult comes to my mind. Like, just like a woman. You know what I mean? Like, just like, just real sexy. That's how this smells right now. This is gonna be a night one. Like, I don't know which one I'm gonna wear first out. Cause I have, I've been waiting to open these so I haven't worn any, but um, I'm excited to wear these. Do they say like what notes? I'm not a perfume. Cause you know those, those people on YouTube that really know like the notes and the, you know what I mean? I'm not one of those people. I just go off of what smells good and what smells good on me, like mixed with me. Cause you know like scents on you and other people don't smell the same. When I bought Creed, I really wanted to get a different scent that I smelled on one of my friends and it just smelled so, so good. But, I don't know if it wasn't the same scent, I got the scents mixed up or what, but it did not smell the same on me as it does on her. So I didn't go with that one. I had to choose one that like really fit me. This is my last new one and I'm excited. Um, I've been hearing good and bad things about this one. So I hope that I like it. Um, I smelled it of course at the store. So we got another box and then, ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, this look like expensive, okay. And it's a red bottle, that is, okay. We gonna have to smell this again. This is part of the crown collection. Ooh, let me be careful, hold on. This little itty bitty bottle. <laughs> it's cute though. I have to spray it. I hate to waste a great expensive perfume, but I gotta spray it. I gotta be able to. I'm running out of places on my arm. This is what happens when I go shopping for perfumes. Ooh, hold on now. You gotta let it marinate because the first spray smells like weeds. It smells like, hold on. I don't know, dang it. I gotta do another spray, hold on, hold on. This is one I'll probably mix too. Ooh. It's a very, very unique scent. I will say that for sure. It's just a smell, like I gotta um, wear this. I, I can't even really explain it. Cause that first spray, it kind of goes into your skin, but it's a very unique smell. I feel like not a lot of people are gonna be smelling like this for sure, but it's the high end. Like, I don't know, it doesn't smell like flowers, it doesn't smell like, it smells like money. You guys are gonna have to go smell this one. Um, if anybody else can explain this smell better than me, <laughs> Put that down in the comments as well but this is my last new addition to my fragrance collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you guys leave me your favorite scent down in the comments or you can dm me on instagram and let me know some of the scents you think i should try don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one